Hey guys, I I am back with some more Walking Dead. So um, the last episode I left it near that car. Well, we've jumped back a tiny bit due to the automatic save. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So we already know where to go. And also guys, um, I'm sorry if I was talking a bit quiet in the last video. It will go. It's just because um, of like mic and stuff. Oh, but this time I'm not using a mic. So it's going to be much easier. I can just talk loud as I want without the mic moaning and I've just woke up and it's morning for me should I stay what? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight but I don't know if I should leave what if my parents come home I won't leave you alone well, let's go somewhere safe that's close okay that's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. What are you doing? Also, in the last video, I picked I'm just a guy. I would want to pick I'm a babysitter this time. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming. We gotta go. Lee, quick. Let's go. I wonder why we gotta push this car. The screen is going red. But we need it. As babysitters go, I'd say her parents owe you a tip. I would not sit in the back of a truck in the middle of the apocalypse like that. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple of days. We'll reckon down the way things as mayor's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Shannon. So we're on the farm now. I'm with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, 
Do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Thank God she still yeah. caught for me. Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Yeah, and on the, um, near the front door. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Happen? Near the front door, it says the Greenies. As well. So, where were you headed before the car accident? Home. Where's home? I grew up in Lincoln. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in Yeah, the I don't want to tell him that I've been with a police officer because if I tell him that I've been with a police officer, then he'll get a bit suspicious about being her babysitter. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I watched a man let himself get run over. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Me and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I those said, folks okay. in the barn. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Yeah, there's more but people. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> you face them. Redress it and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. gonna pick the swear word, but you shouldn't swear in front of a kid. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. She's not even started crying once so far. Knowing that her parents are somewhere all the way out there. Guys called Kenny. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not a dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We 
We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Doug, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I might talk to her. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back also, to Also, guys, I'm going to have to end the video here. I'm sorry it's in the middle of the dialogue, but I'm going to do a video straight after, so you don't have to cut out any of the dialogue. So I'll see you guys in the next video.